Welcome back, Silverfit. We're going to now move on to demonstrating some of the Tai Chi or moves from the Yang style short form. So again, we have very little space to work with. As some of my students may know from Silverfit, you know, part of the 24 steps, as you guys all should know, is that we need quite some space to work with when doing Yang style because it, it involves a style of a particular walk. And the walk demonstrated in that form of Tai Chi is known as the Yang style walk, which incorporates a 90 degree to a 45 degree turn and then a 90 degree step and a 45 degree turn and a 90 degree step. And we also have the hand movements involved. So like, you know how when we was parting the ball? Parting the ball? Well, there's an aspect applied to the first half of the form, which is known as parting the horse's mane or parting the white horse's mane and that is applied when we apply the yang style walk or the 90 degree step to a 45 degree turn to a 90 degree step uh, i hope that made sense um, so we'll begin by starting off with working with our space because we're going to work from left to right okay so for instance we're here and we'll start with our feet together okay so we'll step our feet out over here okay and now let's begin with the first half of our Yang style walk, uh, Yang style 24. So just begin with the space between your fingers, your armpits, engage the soles of your feet, your coccyx, and now your crown of your head. Very good. Look forwards. Shift the weight slightly into your right foot and step the left foot out. Heaven and earth. Now, holding the ball, right hand is on top, left hand is facing the right. Now, come onto the ball of the foot on the left. And now let's turn, but we must turn from rotating our coccyx to the left side. So from the front, your coccyx while carrying your ball turns to face the left. Now when we step, we step never on the same line. We step out, but we always step the heel out first. On the left foot, step the heel out, one, pushing the heel out, one. Bring the foot down on the left, two. Shifting the weight from the right foot over into the left foot. But as you do, start to part the white horse's mane. So bring the left hand down, right hand down. As you rotate the foot on the right. And bring the right hand to the hip distance. And start to keep bringing your left hand to eye level. Parting the white horse's mane, one. Here, we shift the weight. We have to shift the weight to the back leg, which is the right leg. And lift the left foot up. Good. And now we're going to turn. If you can see, the left foot turns to a 45 degree angle. Okay. And here, it's turning to the left corner. 
Now we need to step up. So when we step up, we have to turn the palms to face each other, holding the ball. And be on the ball of your foot on the right. And now step forwards. One, two, and part the white horse's mane. And again, shift the weight back to the left leg. Lift the right foot up. Turn to the 45 degree angle, the right corner. The hands and palms meet. Put the foot up. Support yourself on the ball of your foot on the left foot. And step forwards again. Hold the white horse's mane. So, and then we finish, and what we call white crane opens its wings. So you step up the right foot, cut up onto the ball of the foot, step up and step it back, the right foot, bring it back down, shift the weight to the right. Now, come onto the ball of the foot on the left, one. Turn the palms to face each other, left faces the right, two. And now push the left hand down. Again, hip level on the left and right hand crown, temple level. As if ready to strike and engage the coccyx. So, I don't know if that was clear enough for you to follow, but we'll do that again. So 24 steps. We must shift the weight first into our this foot, into our right foot. Step the left foot out. Open, close, holding the ball, turn, part the white horse's mane, one, two, And white crane opens its wings. From here, we do brush knee to a step. So brush knee to a step. From here, so white crane opens its wings. Brush knee, you strike round from your right hand over to the left corner. One, but you must move your coccyx. One, and drop the right hand down towards the left knee. And strike round on the left to the right corner and pull the right hand up as you draw the left foot in. Like this. So again, what we do here is, so from our last brush knee, we step up. White crane opens its wings. Brush knee, one, two, draw the foot in on the left, 
palm faces down, right palm comes up to the height as if striking from the E. So from here. And twist step, we step the left foot out. One, brush the knee with the left, up with the left hand and strike with the right arm. So, again, I'll demonstrate. So, from the last brushed knee, we come onto my crane, opens its wings. Okay, brush knee to step one, two, Brush the knee on the left, strike with the right, two. And again, we do the same movement. So we draw the weight back to the right leg, lift the left foot up. Turn the body 45 degrees to the left, palms knee. Strike, get ready, strike from the ear. Brush the knee on the right, strike with the left hand. Brush the knee to a step. Shift the weight to the right. To the left, lift the right foot up, turn 45 degrees to the right corner, brush knee, twist step. So, again, we'll go over that and I'd like for you guys to also to keep practicing and be mindful of your space and your distance between your feet. So again, I'll demonstrate again, looking, looking at me, looking forwards. Okay, now, raise the hands up, down. Okay, we're gonna continue, hold the ball, parting the white horse's mane. One. From white horse's mane, we're going to go to white crane, opens his wing, peel the right foot up, step it back, shift the weight, palms meet, good, ball of the foot, on the left, bring the left hand down, bring the right hand up, white crane opens his wings, brush knee twist step, one, Two, pull the left foot in as you pull the right, as you pull the left hand. So, again, just to be clear and you can see me. So again, when we brush knee to a step, we step up, step back. The ball will always meet with each other. Please watch. Come up to the ball of your foot on the left. Engage, must engage your coccyx. Don't drop the coccyx. Sometimes we cock. You can engage to feel the whole movement in the body. And then bring the left hand down, bring the right hand up. Keep a space and curve. Don't, don't extend. Keep a, like as if you've got ball, uh, you're holding very large balls in both arms. And from here, brush knee, we come around one, two, and this hand comes up on the right. And as it comes up on the right, the left foot and left hand draw in. Okay, now we step forwards on the left, one, brush the knee, two, and strike, three, with the right. You see? Okay, and then we shift the weight. We must shift the weight to the right, lift the left foot up, and turn with the coccyx, and heel, and arms to the corner. <coughs> and here, hold the ball. 
So right hand over the left. Peel the right foot up. Step it forwards. Brush the knee on the right and strike with the left. And again, we do it again. This time shift the weight to the left, lift the right foot up. Turn the body 45 degrees to the right. As you see, left hand over the right. Come up, step up on the left, step forwards, brush the knee on the left, and strike. Good. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm trying to demonstrate these steps and break them up. I'm afraid because of the space that we have, I'm not able to demonstrate the whole entire form um, because it would involve me having to turn left and right. So as you know, when we start, we move in the left direction. But, and sometimes these camera angles make things a little bit harder for us. So really I need to be able to demonstrate these steps from different angles. So in ways in which you can see the entire movement. So but we'll work with the space that we have here, we'll work with the space and we'll keep learning these uh, stance and these postures because it does improve the skeletal structure, you know, the muscular structure, it helps to build a firm body. So, you know, when we do movements such as brushing the white horse's mane, so brushing the white horse's mane, okay, it has a structure. If you look here, it's circular, okay, it isn't completely extended, but there's a a curve, okay? So, from brush knee, twist step. So, when we do uh, brush knee, twist step, brush knee, twist step, we're gonna go on to playing the lute. A lute is a round shaped guitar. It's like, long, straight, and then comes round. And so that this movement that we're gonna do has that same principle, has that same principle of the shape of a circular shape. And the reason why this circular shape is emphasized, not to say that there isn't square forms um, when practicing Yang style, it's, it's usually demonstrated square for beginners. It's a very block and very square, but it, it, its style, it na its natural style, is, it's, it's quite feminine. And so there's the movement of the circular motion of the circle really represents the feminine aspect, the yin aspect, as well as the yang. But, yeah, so this movement of the curve is demonstrated when we do playing the lute. So let's, let's build up, let's build from um, where we had started initially. So let's just recap over what we've demonstrated. So what we've done for the first half of this Tai Chi session is parting the white horse's mane. And part of the white horse's mane, uh, mane is in the name itself because the motion, the motion is as if you're brushing a horse's mane. So the hand is holding the tail or the mane and the brush. And this principle, how is it applied as uh, an application or used in martial art or as a self-defense is 
that it has both a strike and a, so it has an offense and defense principle because the, the principle of the movement is to deflect, you know, to either attack or uh, defend, so to move out, so to move out the way, you know, if, if something is opposing you, the brushing movement is to actually um, disarm your opponent's arms when they're coming at you. So when the opponent is arms are reaching, the principle of the brushing the knee, yeah, or sorry, the principle of the brushing the white horse's mane is that it has a strike. It has a striking action where you can either strike using the back of your hand to maybe vital areas of the person's body, maybe here, 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 you know. Somewhere is it's, it's vital, maybe. And also, again, to disarm, to move the person's arm out of the way. So it has that effect. The same with white crane opens its wings. The white crane opens its wings. So let's say from brushing the knee, I mean, from parting the white horse's mane, when we step up to white crane opens its wings, Again, the movement in the hands, you can't really see the demonstration of how it could be applied as a form of self-defense. But the movement, where you move from, so from here as you bring your arm, your arm strikes to defend you, defend you in ways. So it's like if you're in a, someone's coming towards you or opposing you, but instinctually you will know to move your arms as though as if it's like the wings of a crane so what you're doing is you're defending and you're you're guarding your body as well so if someone is trying to strike you you have more defense on the outer part of your arm than than the outside uh, than the inside because the inside carry your vital you know points so again, here, here is defending, 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 you know, and strike. You could still strike, defending, you know, you could defend, defend, strike. So this is, Tai Chi has its principle, but its principle is really not so much um, applied as to do harm onto anybody. But it's a way of you protecting, defending your own self if in the situation. So parts of these applications or these of this form is applied for uh, learning skills to be able to, you know, get out of a way of a situation, to move out of a way of a situation and knowing when to find the right time as it, as when to strike, you know, knowing when to strike and knowing when to move out the way. So back to our Tai Chi Yang style form, got a bit carried away to the talking. So what we got up to was part the white horse's mane, so left and right. Okay, and left. So left and right and left. Okay, part the white horse's mind. Left, right and left. Then we went on to white crane opens its wings. White crane opens its wings onto brush knee to a step. Left and right. Okay, and left. And then we go on to playing the loop. So we're going to start from the very beginning together and run through what we've done. So let's begin. Feet together, 
arms alongside your torso. Space between your fingers and your armpits. Look into the distance. Okay? Right foot shifts into the weight of the right foot. Lift the left foot up and step it out. Heaven and earth, look forwards. Press. Hold the ball. Cat stance on the left foot. Pay attention now. Parting the white horse's mane. Left. Part the white horse's mane. Right. Part the white horse's mane, left. White crane opens its wings. Brush knee to a step. Brush knee to a step. Brush knee to a step. Okay? So I'll try to work with the, from the point of white crane opens wings so we get more space. So from white crane opens wings, Let's do it from brush knee. From here, hold the ball, left foot, and let's part. From brush knee, twist step. Sorry, from white, from the last parting the white horse's mane. So on the left, come up, white crane opens its wings. Brush knee, one, twist step, two, and step. And now, brush knee, twist step. Again, brush knee, twist step. Playing the loop, stretch, pull the right foot up, step it back. Pull the right arm back. Pull the left arm up. So keep a circular motion with the arms. And two. Playing the lute. So, again, so from brush knee, brush knee, brush knee. I keep repeating brush knee because you are brushing the opponent's knee. So when we brush the knee, it's as if someone was going to kick us. So if someone was going to kick, you would move the person's arm out the way, leg out the way. So they'll lift and you move. Okay? So the brush knee, twist step, and the strike, strike him. You're gonna move, you're gonna, your hands are gonna, your eyes and your hands are gonna follow in the direction of where you're going to strike. So brush knee to step is, an, is again being able to defend or counter attack your opponent, counter attack your opponent and strike the opponent. So the brush knee to step is brush knee is to get the person out of the way and strike them. So from the 
brush knee twist step. Okay. Playing the loop is somewhat like this. You lift the right foot up, step it back, pull the right arm. But as you step up the right foot and step it back, instinctually your right arm pulls back so your weight shifts to your right leg. An empty step on the left and your arms create a circle or what we call loot. And from here we do repulsing the monkey and we step back. But when we step back, we step back the left foot and we do the same on the right. Okay? So repulse the monkey is the second half of the session which we will practice uh, a little more down, uh, a little more in the week. Again, it's a little difficult for me because of the space. So again, we'll have to do it from playing the lute, so from brush knee. Okay, I'm working with the space. So brush knee to a step, okay, playing the loops repulsing the monkey and then again repulsing the monkey is a principle where you are pulling so as you play the Loot. Okay. Here, when you drop, you're dropping the weight to strike. So, but as you strike, you're pulling your opponent as well with this arm. Okay. Pulling on the right and pushing. So it's a pulling and pushing. Okay. And that practice again is, a, is a, again if someone if you were getting into some sort of grapple with somebody, it's it's almost like you're doing a pull and a push, you know, a pull and a push to get out of the situation again to get yourself out of the situation. So these these principles can only be applied instinctually and with diligence and with intelligence and really keeping an eye on your opponent, okay? So, from repulsing the monkey, here, we do repulsing the monkey, is from the right angle, which is difficult to show you from, but here is playing the loop. So you, again, you play the loop, but the loop is now on the right foot, and now you drop the left hand down, support the sky, and you pull, one. And again, we finally reach on this side again, and we drop and lift, and pull. Okay, so that's repulsing the monkey. And when we repulse the monkey, we start where we finish off. So we do repulsing the monkey four times after playing the loops. So when we finish on playing the loot, which is brush knee, playing the loot. So again, I'm going to just demonstrate again. When we brush the knee and twist step, we play the loops. We repulse the monkey, but we do this four times. So I want to shift myself a little bit over to this side. We've got to do it four times. So playing the loop to repulse the monkey. One, two, three, four. When you finish on four, here, Drop the left 
hand and left foot interface the front right hand on top ball of the foot so we finish where we started okay guys we're going to warm down this session and we'll continue to practice tai chi at a later date okay so let's begin just to warm down our body okay so let's just begin warming down so here we just warm down just tap tap the body now so what we're tapping is the lymphatic system so stimulating the nervous system and to release any tension potentially built up during the practice. You can use the whole palms of your hands on one side. Get the whole neck. You know, here, here, the, here, tap, tap. And then let's do the opposite side, tap, tap. is gentle tapping in the face like this um, and then again just, just keep doing this very good and then we go all the way down Massage the stomach. Very good. Massage the stomach. And um, this, you can also tap the chest, stimulating the cardiovascular system here just, just by gentle tapping. Very good. Now, from here, there would be one second. And so, yeah, keep tapping the whole body, it's very important. So we keep tapping out. Good, now we're going to roll the head back, breathe in. the tongue out towards the heart good now tapping the chest like a gorilla oh. very good now let's begin closing out Let's start with our Wuchi stance. Let's open the foot out. One, two, and separate the heels. So now we're hip distance apart. Begin, open, soften, and lift the ball. One, lifting the ball. Two.
Set the foot in. One more time for us. Step out. Lifting the ass. One, raise the heels, come to the balls of the feet. Now let's place our hands on our quad. Breathe in and out twice. Okay, let's raise the heel, breathe in, and breathe out, your heels down, and let's raise the hands up, and let's bow to each other, honoring your strength, yin, heavens, yang, feminine and masculine, harness and softness unite, and we bow to each other, celebrating good health, prosperity, longevity, friendship, harmony and balance. Well done.